Today I'm going to demonstrate DAP account, which is built using Liquid Accounts, VRAM, and Liquid Oracle services to provide a full suite of smart contract integration, which enables DAPs to onboard users with simple signups without having to set up an EOS account, remember any private keys, or worry about managing resources. To sign up for a new DAP account, it first asks to verify phone number. I'll enter my number, click sign up. Off screen, I just received a text message, which I'll enter here. Next, I enter my email address, then click sign up. An access code was emailed to me, which I'll enter here, then click confirm. Now we've successfully created an account with just a phone number and email address to generate my key pairs behind the scenes using VRAM and Liquid Accounts. Now that we have an account, let's add some funds to it. Click transfer, then receive token, and there you'll see the account name and the memo that you need to add to be able to send tokens to it. I'm going to be sending two EOS from Blocks.io, but it could just as easily be coming from a major exchange like Coinbase. As long as you're able to enter an account name and a memo, you can send it from anywhere. Now we'll head back to DAP account and we're able to see that my two EOS tokens have been received. Now that we have a little bit of EOS in our account, we can click buy and then we'll swap half an EOS for a tiny amount of PBTC using DeFi box. Exchange successful. Now, if we look at the transaction on chain, you'll see signatures and payloads being made from my V account, as well as dat kn contract making the swap with the swap.defi contract. This account is essentially acting as a proxy account to make a transaction on behalf of each dApp account. Another cool thing you could do with dApp accounts is send tokens to other users based on their email address rather than having to know their blockchain account names. For this demo, I'm going to send one EOS to another email address that I was playing around with earlier. Click transfer, and after it says it was successful, I'll open up another window where I'm already logged in using that email address, and there you can see that the token was received. And once again, we can see that the transaction is verifiable on chain from one virtual DAP account to the other. This was a demo of DAP account powered by the DAP network.